Dear friends, uh, I hope that you're all doing well, you're keeping safe. We are studying about some of the essentials that we require in our Christian lives to keep moving forward with God. So far, we've looked at qualities like fearlessness, faith, a faithfulness. And today, I want to talk about walking free or moving ahead with freedom in our lives. Now, as we run the race of life, there can be many burdens that we carry along. If we are to consider a runner or an athlete who is taking part in a race, we understand that that person would exercise, that person would do everything possible to keep even a few extra grams of weight away because that will hinder the speed with which he or she is running. So for them to make it to the finish line in the fastest uh, span of time, they would want to really maintain themselves and keep themselves in such a manner that there is no extra weight on them. Even in the clothes that they wear or the shoes that they prefer to put on. And in the same way, as we run this race of life, we must leave aside every extra weight. What are these weights? Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1, it says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. We are reminded that sin ensnares us. Let us leave aside every weight. Sins are the weights that we must keep away from our lives. And today you and I, we as we pursue the plan of God for our lives, yes, we are running fast on that track, but are there things in our lives that have gone unchecked? Now, there could be pride that we are dealing with. There could be lust that we are struggling with. Now, there could be jealousy that we are battling with. There can be other kinds of secret sins or habits that we still have in our lives. But as we consider this race that God has called us to run, we must leave these weights aside. And God speaks to us and says, be holy as I am holy. And so as God's people, it's very important for us to get rid of anything and everything that will hinder us in this walk with the Lord. I also want to read for us another scripture. This is from 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. It says, No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. Firstly, sin ensnares us. And then there are the affairs of this life that can distract us. Now, we could be running free of sin, but if we get distracted somewhere ar along the path, we end up losing time, energy with the Lord. Therefore, no, let us keep aside sin. Let us also check every distraction and run free, run with focus. Let us examine our own lives. And as we take those few moments to examine our own lives in the presence of God, no, it will save hours and years of time ahead. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that you want us to run well and that you want us to finish our race, O oh God. And you want us, Father God, to bring glory to your name. And today, God, uh, whatever we are struggling with, which is not pleasing in your sight, thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have the ability to convict us and bring it to the fore. And Lord, give us the grace, O oh God, to deal with it, repent of it, and come clean before you. Thank you, God. 
Thank you, Lord. Even as we invite you, thank you for doing a great work in us. Thank you for the power of your Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.